Hi. As I've said in other videos, we uh, there's, there's been a queue of humanitarian aid trucks on the Egyptian side of the Gaza border block, blocked by who we know is the Israeli military. We saw George Galloway asking questions about getting aid to the people in Gaza and the answer was that yes, we're sending as much aid, we're sending money, we're put, putting money aside for the peoples. But they talked about the, the fact that the aid was being blocked. The thing is, they never say by whom. Um, we know that it's the Israeli military and the Israeli people waving their flags, stopping that that aid from getting through. The day that they actually say that, though, will be the day that we might actually get somewhere. And this came the day after the head of the UN food program stated that there is a full-blown famine in northern Gaza moving its way south. It's not a steady flow coming in, though. And billionaires always want things that are in their own interest in return for that money. So any labour values goes right out of the window anyway. It's not the 34,000 people that have got bidden. The administration worried about if, if Israel is using US made weapons outside of international law. Now it's the double whammy of the impending arrest warrants and the current Rafa invasion and unrest at home. Biden is losing support as they're threatening to bring international courts of justice down. There is no doubt whatsoever that this is a lawless country that is in control and is out of control. Do you know that when you go to the polls to vote that you're voting for a false power? You are educated to believe in this false power. When you vote for governmental bodies, you are voting for people who do not hold a position of care for any of you as individuals, but they care only for themselves. They have created this belief through the educational system that you need this false power to protect you. You're not voting for a mafia mob of elitist individuals who have not had to work their way to into positions through kindness and care, but people who went to top private schools and have learned how to get to the top by paying for it and by pulling others down around them to get there. The way our governments work is abusive and controlling and it disempowers the people. It even disempowers those within their own political arena to stay quiet about issues to fa in favour of being voted to power against ally, under, under lies and false pretenses. It works in a way that causes people to be afraid to speak up. It creates problems so that it can prevent, uh, pretend to be creating solutions. It causes individuals disempowerment where they become so involved in their daily struggles that they forget that there are personal, where their personal power lies in working with and reconnecting with one another. It forces the people to send their children to be educated to believe in this power and less of the people power. You need to get back to your own personal power and this means forgetting what you've been taught. You've been taught that you need to become detached from an outcome that benefits all and step into a position that values only one. To get ahead you have been taught to believe that it is necessary to earn more and more money You've been taught that it is good to get ahead of others rather than work alongside with one another. You've been taught to be in competition, to pull others down around you so that you can appear greater and appear more powerful than the rest. Appearances are deceptive since it is so that to look great, you must have the ability to make others feel less about themselves where they have less. You have to look down upon others and judge them as less important, completely disconnecting from the parts of yourself that offers empathy, love and feelings to those without around you. 
You must instead put your energy into status and money and you were taught that you will amount to nothing if you do not do this. Teachers didn't teach you about your personal power. Teachers taught you to vote for false power and to wave your flags at kings and queens. You did not question this. Teachers taught you that this is the correct process. You did not question this. Teachers taught to you that you must put these false powers high above, up above, because you are taught that you are less and you did not question this. We've been, t uh, we have, most of us, become so lost in this lie that we've become lost in a belief that we are less and they are greater. We've accepted their rules and accepted that we are to be looked down upon and that we look up to them. Regardless of wrongdoing or not, we've become accepting of this divide and rule and we have accepted that we must pay them money and we have to first earn for them to be have accepted this as normal. And if we do not accept this, we will be deemed as abnormal, intolerable, the crazy ones. We've forgotten that we are able and powerful and sane and being taught to be insane for questioning any authority and their right to be this authority. We accept willingly as we send our children off to school that they will be taught that those we vote for to lead us will save and protect us. We have willingly accepted to allow our children to learn to forget their own personal power. Those who believe they can save you, those who vote to save you, have full control over this. And they have this way of educating our children and we accept these elitist governmental bodies are teaching our children the correct things. But they're being taught just as you were taught to be good subjects who work their way up and pay your taxes to buy exorbitant amounts of bling for the, the, for the false idol to be put on the throne. They too will go on believing that this, this is correct and this is sanity. Sanity is far from what this is. Sane is far from what we are becoming. The more we speak, the more we speak, the more we speak of their <laughs> insanity and the more they point the finger at us and label us hateful and dangerous. What a great mirror image they play to elude us into who they truly are. People right now are looking at voting because this is what they've been taught to do. So they'll be voting a clearly very racist man who is inciting hatred to power because they believe he will save America in England, we have the same. We have people that are, are pandering to the far right. Do you not see the insanity in this division? Those who have brought and fought their way to power have stepped over so many others and they have no care for anybody else. So many others to get there where they are and they have become detached from the real people. They've forgotten the loving, empathetic side of themselves and have thus become mentally imbalanced. We're for, for following this imbalance and we're supporting this imbalance. Hitler had the same imbalance. Their disconnection to these aspects of themselves weakens them and they do not know how to rebalance anymore. Greed is this false power. They have taken over and we wave our flags and follow it. It's important to consciously restore the balance between your thoughts, your mind, your physical body and soul, spirit. This starts by connecting through the heart, love and bring connectedness to us through truth. When you reconnect through love and connectedness, through the heart, you reconnect all aspects of you. When you reconnect through the heart, love, the mind is open and you become open-minded. An open mind becomes heart-connected. It thinks with love and asks the question, what would love do? 
Before taking action, the heart listens as you become open-hearted and open to love. An open heart and mind are the keys to the gateway to the soul. Closed minds and hearts cannot open this gateway to the soul, but an open mind and an open heart that embraces all can reconnect to the soul and we can become soul connected. The open heart and mind is a magic formula that opens the soul completely to the universe. It, co it connects us to the divine realms and to God, to Allah. Once all aspects of you have become open and reconnected, the universal mind has opened itself to you, the universal mind, and to the heart which reminds it, you that you are connected to everything as divine knowledge flows through the open mind and open soul. Through all of these open channels, you unlock your authentic personal power, setting you free from the lies and manipulation of man. This is true personal power, is not the same as the occultist dark power. This is the same thing as religious teaches us. So you can become a, be a religious person and also add these little practices to your, your emotional psyche. They take, teach a false power in our schools and we have to keep reopening these pathways from when we've been taught so things that are, that are so wrong. Governmental bodies who convince you through the media and through education of your lack by encouraging judgment of each other are doing harm to you all as a whole and it keeps you incomplete. They are the unauthentic and you are the authentic. They have no need to appear powerful if you are authentic. They do things to care for and love all people, including excluding none. They intend to love and raise those who have fallen and teach them their worthiness. They understand that mental illness is a symptom of the system which disempowers them and those who struggle with the elitist values. When you reconnect through your open heart, think through an open mind and reopen your mind to the inner voice of your soul and feel energised by your own personal power. You will not require others to feel as if they are beneath you. Pure authenticity comes with the balance of all these meridians and you will be open to all healing. And when you're yourself your whole and complete authentic self it doesn't matter what befalls you and though you can't can't stop that karmic story of others playing out around you you cannot stop those things affecting your life you cannot stop the bills coming in and the need for others to have power over you but you can remain stable and strong in your own right you can remain positive in your own happiness. Regardless of all else, you will still feel free and secure. And then you will lose that fear and flow vigorously with life as everything you desire comes into your personal, easy, into your experience easier since you have opened your heart soul and mind, breaking down all fearful blocks that stand in your way, you will act in ways that are deserving of love, where you are lovingly accepting of all that you deserve. To recommend and reconnect your own hearts and souls, equally you only requires paying attention to each of them and acting with open-minded love and if you do this with your practice of prayer as well I like to do my practice of prayer in alignment with the Palestinians and I feel that that is giving more power to those prayers you will be reconnected to the true authenticity of you and the power that God gave you live through the heart of God not the heart of man this is our true higher self and um, it's where we reign most powerful thank you once again for listening you know i love you all take care
Bye for now.